Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our English. We want to work, improve our vocabulary. The way we do so is by learning few new words every day. Today is our day number 44. Day 44. The word that we want to learn today, the word that we want to start out with is very simple pronunciation. Callow. What does it mean to be callow? It means to be new at something. To be new at something it means to be inexperienced if you have no experience if you are new at something if you are lacking experience you are said to be callow one is said to be callow If you are a beginner, if you have just begun something, if you are just learning it, you are callow, you are inexperienced, you are amateur. You are an amateur, you are not professional, callow. Now, we, now what we are going to do is learn few more words which mean the same thing, some synonym some synonym of the word callow. Here we go then. Novice. Novice. What, is, what does it mean to be novice? It means same as callow. It means to be a beginner, to be inexperienced, to be an amateur, to be new at something. Novice. Next one is Neophyte. Notice, notice this neophyte. It's not neo, as some people pronounce it. It's not neophyte. It's neophyte. A neophyte. A neophyte is a novice. He's a beginner. He's an he's an inexper inexperienced person. He's an amateur. He's callow. He's a he's a a tyro. Rough around the edges, green. If you're green, that means uh, if somebody is described as green, as in uh, it's not ripe yet. It's not. It's not. It's not ripe yet. It's not ready yet. It's not experienced. It's not. It hasn't been there for a long time. You're green. You're rough around the edges. You're a beginner. You're, you're inexperienced. You're immature. Novice. Neophyte. Tyro. Callow. There's another word that comes to my mind, and I exactly cannot put my finger on it. It has to do with. I can't think of it right now. Anyway, that was it. So these are the good synonyms for, for, for being new, inexperienced, or amateur, callow, novice, neophyte, and tyro. That's it. The next word I want to talk about has nothing to do with any of this thing. It's completely unrelated words. Let's learn it. I need the room, so I need to erase everything. One more time. Tyro, neophyte. Notice the pronunciation. Neophyte. Neophyte. Not neophyte. Neophyte. Novice. Callow. The next word I want to talk about, as I told you before, has nothing to do with any of these words, completely unrelated word, and the word is pithy. It's an 
adjective. What does it mean if she says something is pithy? It means something, something that is short but full of meaning. It is short but it's full of meaning. It's got it's got that oomph. It has it has that power. It has that uh, uh, power to convince you. It has that. Uh, that uh, punch to it. It's short, but it's full of meaning. Something that is short, but convincing. Something that is short, well, we don't need the short part here. Something that is cogent and and terse something that is cogent and terse and if you do not know the word cogent and terse don't worry about it which is why the numbers are there Cogent was the word that we covered in day number seven. If you want to learn it, just type in Kishwani Prep dash vocab dash day seven, and you can learn it. Cogent. Uh, something that is cogent is something. Something that is cogent is something that is persuasive. Something that is convincing. And terse means short and concise. Short. I don't know how to, why I have to say short and concise because that's the same thing. But anyway, you must have heard of a, a pithy comment. When somebody says it's a pithy comment, what they're trying to tell you is that that uh, that comment is short and yet it is full of meaning and impact. That something is a, some, if somebody makes a comment, it's a very short comment, but it's so deep and so full of meanings or so convincing. Such a comment is said to be a pithy comment. It is quite uh, unfortunate that I cannot think of an example right now, something pithy to say. Most likely because it requires wisdom, which I sadly lack. Alas, as we say in the desert. That's it. That was the end of our day for today. I hope it was helpful. So we learned the word uh, neoph neophyte, callow, tyro, Novice, beginner, inexperienced, immature, we learned those words and then we learned the word pithy. Pithy means something that is a statement that is short and yet full of meaning, it's convincing, it's cogent. Something that is cogent is something that is persuasive. The noun of cogent, you will learn it in day number seven, the noun of cogent is cogency. If something is cogent, that statement is persuasive. If you say something, if something, if somebody says something and is very persuasive, you say, well, that's very cogent. And if someone is being cogent, if someone is being persuasive, if someone is being cogent, one is said to be, one is said to have cogency. That's the noun, cogency. Anyway, that was it. Uh, I hope you found it helpful. If you wish to get hold of me for personal private tutoring, I do tutor over the internet via Skype, and I also do private tutoring face to face, obviously. Uh, go to my web, any of these website addresses that you see here prep for gre.com, prep for gmet.com, prep for sat.com, or finally, prep for tofu.com and send me an email from there and I'll be more than happy to help you in whatever way that I can. Or you can simply go to keshwaniprep.com and you can get hold of me from that, uh, from that website address as well. Right. Thank you.